dear friends, last summer at the Napa Institute in California, we had a panel discussion on being a Catholic in Hollywood. On the panel were two actors and a priest who served in Hollywood at Family Theater Productions. The actors were David Henry, a committed, intelligent, young actor who starred in The Wizards of Waverly Place, and uh, Jonathan Rumi, who was a regular at Family Theater's monthly Prayer and Pasta, and is now starring as Jesus in the groundbreaking multi-year seasons with episodes of Jesus and the Apostles called The Chosen, Jonathan Rumi. When the host asked what it was like to serve in Hollywood as a Catholic and as a priest, I mentioned that I had encountered three Jesuses in Hollywood. First was Jim Caviezel, who starred in The Passion of the Christ. He was 33 at the time, and his initials were JC, which meant to him that Providence had chosen him for the role of a lifetime. They had mass every day on the set in Italy during the filming, and Jim is unabashed about his devotion to the Catholic faith, to Jesus, Mary, and to praying the rosary daily. Jonathan is the second Jesus that I met in Hollywood, a humble, devout man of talent and integrity. He too prays the rosary at least daily and shares the rosary uh, on his Instagram account. So Jonathan Rumi. But the third Jesus I met in Hollywood is the one that we encounter in every Eucharist and in adoration. He's the one John encountered for the first time when he leaped in his mother's womb at the approach of Jesus, newly conceived in Mary's womb. The one John the Baptist pointed out to as the Lamb of God. There are three individuals whose birth the church celebrates each year. Jesus, our Lord, God, and Savior. Mary, conceived without sin in her mother's womb. And John the Baptist. The Curie of ours, St. John Vianney, says, Of all the saints and angels, certainly Mary is the most holy and revered. But after her comes John the Baptist, who humbly acknowledged that he was not worthy to undo the sandal strap of Jesus's sandals. Think about how this greatest of all the prophets was so on fire with the truth of Jesus that he confronted the proud and murderous King Herod and his adulterous queen Herodias with the truth of their hypocrisy and sins. He is the one who paves the way for us to recognize the real, genuine Jesus in the Eucharist, in the church, in the people we will meet beyond the church every day. Every time we begin our day with a simple prayer called morning offering, every time we pause to say grace before meals, every time we bless our children as they go off to school or work, as they return home and are put to bed in the evening, we are encountering the real Jesus. And now here in the Eucharist, he comes among us to light within us that same fire that consumed John the Baptist. Amen.